Imagine standing at the edge of time itself, peering into the abyss of the unknown. That's the position scientists find themselves in when pondering what happened before the Big Bang. From the dawn of civilization, humanity has gazed up at the night sky, a sense of wonder stirring within us. This curiosity, this relentless pursuit of knowledge, has spurred our species on a grand cosmic journey. We've sought to unravel the mysteries of our celestial surroundings, to comprehend our place within the grand tapestry of existence. In ancient times, people crafted myths and legends to explain the cosmos. They saw the stars as divine beings, the planets as gods moving across the heavens. As time passed, our understanding evolved. We began to see the universe not as a realm of gods and monsters, but as a physical entity governed by laws and principles. This shift in perspective ushered in the era of modern cosmology, a time when we began to probe the universe with telescopes instead of tails. We discovered galaxies beyond our own, observed the expansion of the universe, and pieced together the cosmic puzzle that led to the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory, an audacious idea that suggests our universe began from a singularity, an infinitely small, dense point. It's a theory that has stood the test of time, with evidence echoing across the cosmos in the form of cosmic microwave background radiation. But the Big Bang presents a paradox. If it marks the birth of our universe, what existed before it? Is it even meaningful to ask such a question? This cosmic conundrum has sparked a flurry of theories, each grappling with the concept of before. From oscillating universes to quantum realms, from multiverses to big bounces, these theories push the boundaries of our understanding, challenging our perceptions of time and existence. So the question stands, what happened before the Big Bang? Let's explore some theories. Picture the universe as a cosmic pendulum, swinging back and forth in an eternal cycle of creation and destruction. This is the mesmerizing yet perplexing image that the oscillating universe theory paints for us. This theory has its roots in the early 20th century with the work of Albert Einstein and Alexander Friedman, among others. They proposed a universe that doesn't just sit still, but rather it breathes, expanding and contracting in a rhythm as steady as a heartbeat, at the core of the oscillating universe. Theory is the concept of gravity. As we know, gravity pulls things together. So in this model, after the universe expands, gravity eventually slows this expansion and pulls everything back together in a cosmic crunch. But this isn't the end. The theory suggests that this crunch then sparks another Big Bang, creating a new universe. And so, the cycle continues, potentially forever, like an eternal cosmic phoenix. The mathematics behind this model is complex, but essentially it's all about balance. The universe's expansion must be perfectly balanced with the force of gravity for the cycle to continue. Interestingly, there is some supporting evidence for this theory in the form of cosmic microwave background data. This is the afterglow of the Big Bang, a faint whisper from the very early universe that we can still detect today. Some patterns in this data suggest the universe may have undergone multiple cycles of expansion and contraction. However, it's not all smooth sailing for the oscillating universe theory. There are some inconsistencies and criticisms that we must address. One of the biggest challenges is dark energy. This mysterious force is causing the universe's expansion to accelerate, not slow down. If the universe keeps speeding up, it may never contract again, breaking the cosmic pendulum. Furthermore, there's the issue of entropy or disorder. Each time the universe goes through a cycle, it should become more disordered. But our universe appears to be very ordered, which throws a wrench into the works. Despite these challenges, the oscillating universe theory is an intriguing model that offers a possible answer to the question of what came before the Big Bang. It suggests that our universe may be just one chapter in an infinite cosmic story, a story without a beginning or an end. As interesting as this theory is, it's not the only one. Next, we dive into the concept of parallel universes. What if our universe is just one of many, each with its own laws of physics and realities? Imagine a cosmic landscape teeming with a virtually infinite number of universes, each distinct, each its own cosmos. This is the essence of the multiverse theory. The multiverse theory is an audacious idea that has its roots in quantum mechanics and string theory. To begin with, quantum mechanics, the mind-bending branch of physics that deals with the smallest particles in the universe, has a strange feature called superposition. This means that a particle can exist in all its theoretically possible states at once. However, when it's observed or measured, it collapses into one particular state. 
This led to the famous thought experiment by physicist Erwin Schrodinger, known as Schrodinger's cat, where a cat in a box could be both alive and dead at once. This paradox gave rise to the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, proposed by physicist Hugh Everett in the mid 20th century. According to this interpretation, every time a quantum event happens, the universe splits into multiple versions, each representing a different outcome of that event. In other words, for every decision you make, there could be a parallel universe where you made a different choice. Then we have string theory, another revolutionary framework that attempts to reconcile quantum mechanics with general relativity, Einstein's theory of gravitation. In string theory, the fundamental constituents of the universe are not point-like particles, but tiny vibrating strings of energy. This theory requires the existence of extra dimensions, beyond the three spatial and one temporal dimensions we experience. These extra dimensions could, in theory, provide the fabric for an entire multiverse. But what does this mean for us? If the multiverse exists, it could change our understanding of our place in the cosmos. Are we alone? In a multiverse, the odds of other intelligent life forms increase. What's the nature of reality? It might be vastly more complex and diverse than we can perceive. However, despite the fascinating implications, the multiverse theory is not without its critics. One of the main criticisms is the issue of testability. Science is based on empirical evidence and falsifiability. If we can't observe or measure these other universes, can the multiverse theory be considered a scientific theory? In addition, there are philosophical criticisms. Some argue that the multiverse idea is a cop-out, an attempt to explain away the fine-tuning of our universe for life without invoking a designer. Others question whether a theory that allows for an infinite number of realities, where anything and everything is possible, can provide meaningful explanations. In contrast to the oscillating universe theory, which posits a single universe undergoing cycles of expansion and contraction, the multiverse theory paints a picture of a vast cosmic landscape teeming with an array of universes, each distinct, each with its own unique laws of physics. The idea of multiple universes is mind-boggling. It challenges our understanding of reality and forces us to think beyond the confines of our own universe. It's a testament to the power of human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of understanding the cosmos. But remember, as exciting as it is to ponder the existence of parallel universes, the multiverse theory, like all scientific theories, is a work in progress. So let's shift gears from the idea of multiple universes to the fascinating world of the quantum realm. In the quantum realm, the rules of classical physics are thrown out the window, and we enter a world of string vibrations and vacuum fluctuations. Now let's delve into the realm where the tiny reigns supreme, the quantum realm. First, let's explore an intriguing concept, string theory. String theory proposes that the fundamental constituents of reality are not particles, as we've long believed, but rather tiny vibrating strings of energy. These strings vibrate at different frequencies and these frequencies manifest as the particles that make up our universe. The key to understanding this theory is to imagine the extra dimensions it requires. We experience three dimensions of space and one of time, but string theory posits the existence of up to 10 dimensions. These extra dimensions are hidden from us, curled up in the fabric of the universe at scales so small, they're practically impossible to detect. A significant concept in string theory is brains short for membranes. In this context, our entire universe could be a three-dimensional brain floating in a higher dimensional space. Some physicists, including Michio Kaku, suggest that the Big Bang was a result of a collision between brains in this higher dimensional space. But string theory isn't the only game in town when it comes to the quantum realm. Another theory based on the weirdness of quantum mechanics posits that our universe might have sprung from a vacuum fluctuation. In classical physics, a vacuum is a void, a space completely devoid of matter or energy. Quantum physics, however, tells a different story. In the quantum vacuum, particles and antiparticles are constantly popping in and out of existence. This is due to the inherent uncertainty of quantum mechanics. These are called virtual particles. And while they may seem like ghostly apparitions, they have real measurable effects. The idea here is that our entire universe could have originated from one of these vacuum fluctuations. In this scenario, a tiny speck of vacuum teeming with virtual particles somehow transitioned from the quantum realm to the macroscopic realm we inhabit. This speck then expanded and evolved into the universe we see today. 
It's a mind-bending concept, but it's a possibility that arises from the strange world of quantum mechanics. Comparing and contrasting these two theories, we see a common theme. The universe's origins lie in the quantum realm, a world that's vastly different from our everyday experiences. Each theory paints a radically different picture of the universe's genesis. In string theory, our universe might be a brain in a higher dimensional space born from a collision with another brain. In the vacuum fluctuation model, our universe could be the result of a quantum event magnified to cosmic proportions. Both theories stretch our understanding of the universe and push the boundaries of our imaginations. They offer tantalizing glimpses into the origins of our universe. But they also raise as many questions as they answer. For instance, what causes a brain collision? What determines the properties of the universe that results from such a collision? In the case of vacuum fluctuations, how does a quantum event transition to the macroscopic realm? And what determines the nature of the universe that arises from such a fluctuation? These questions and many more remain to be answered. In the quest to understand our universe's origins, we've journeyed from the vastness of cosmic scales to the tiny scales of the quantum realm. Each step in this journey has revealed a universe that's far stranger and more wonderful than we ever could have imagined. Quantum theories provide fascinating insights, but another theory suggests our universe has been bouncing in and out of existence. What if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning, but just a transition from a previous universe? This question brings us to the Big Bounce theory, a proposition that challenges the traditional view of the Big Bang as the absolute beginning of everything we know. The Big Bang Theory, as groundbreaking as it was, left us with a lingering problem, singularities. Singularities are points in space-time where the laws of physics as we know them break down. They are, in a word, problematic. This is where the Big Bang supposedly began, a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature. But how can we make sense of such a concept? How can everything we know and see have originated from a point of infinite density? This conundrum led scientists on a new quest for a theory that could reconcile the mysteries of quantum mechanics with the vastness of the cosmos. The result was loop quantum gravity, or LQG, a theoretical framework that attempts to bridge the gap between the very small and the very large. Loop quantum gravity suggests that space is not continuous, as we've believed for centuries, but rather it's made up of discrete, quantized loops. These loops interconnect to create the fabric of space-time. It's a bit like a piece of fabric. From a distance, it appears smooth and continuous, but get up close, and you'll see it's made up of individual threads woven together. In the context of the Big Bang, loop quantum gravity provides a fascinating alternative. Instead of a singularity, LQG suggests that there was a previous universe that contracted under the force of gravity until it reached a point of maximum density, but this wasn't a singularity. Instead, quantum effects would kick in, causing the universe to bounce back and start expanding again. This is the big bounce. But what causes this bounce? This is where the concept of the quantum bridge comes in. As the universe contracts, quantum effects become increasingly significant until gravity itself becomes repulsive. This repulsion acts as a sort of cosmic trampoline, causing the universe to bounce back and start expanding anew. This paints a picture of a cyclical universe where big bangs and big crunches alternate in an unending cosmic dance. It's a universe where time has no beginning or end, and where the Big Bang is not the origin of everything, but merely a transition point. But as with any theory, the Big Bounce has its fair share of open questions and areas of further research. For one, it's still unclear how the transition from contraction to expansion occurs. Also, the theory is yet to make predictions that can be tested and validated by observations. Moreover, if the universe is cyclical, what dictates the length of each cycle? And is there any way we could detect evidence of the previous cycle? These questions remain unanswered, but they're part of the ongoing conversation in cosmology, pushing the boundaries of our understanding. The Big Bounce Theory, while not without its challenges, provides an intriguing perspective on the origins of the universe. It challenges us to rethink our understanding of time, causality, and the very nature of the universe itself. But as we delve deeper into the realms of theoretical physics and cosmology, we must remember that our current theories are just that, theories. They are our best attempts to make sense of the cosmos based on the evidence we have. But the universe is under no obligation to make sense to us. As we continue to explore and learn, our theories will evolve, 
and our understanding will deepen. This theory paints a picture of a cyclical universe, but there are other possibilities to consider. And so we march on, ever curious, ever questioning in our eternal quest to understand the cosmos and our place within it. From the no boundary proposal to the idea of a universe born from black holes, there are many intriguing theories about our universe's origins. Picture for a moment, an earth without edges, a planet that you could traverse indefinitely without ever encountering a boundary. Now scale this concept up and apply it to the entire universe. This is the basis of the no boundary proposal, a theory put forward by renowned physicist Stephen Hawking and his colleagues. According to this proposition, the universe might have no boundaries in space or time. Instead, it is an unending four-dimensional expanse that loops back onto itself. To comprehend this, let's use an analogy. Imagine the Earth's surface. You can walk indefinitely in any direction without falling off an edge, right? That's because the Earth is a sphere. Now expand this concept to the universe. Instead of three spatial dimensions, however, we must consider four dimensions. The three spatial dimensions plus time. This, in essence, is the no-boundary proposal. The implications of this theory are profound. If the universe has no boundaries, then the concept of a beginning or an end becomes meaningless. Time, as we understand it, wouldn't have a starting point. It would be, in a sense, infinite. This notion challenges our traditional understanding of causality, the idea that every effect has a cause. If there was no beginning, what caused the universe? Next, let's venture into the mysterious realm of black holes. Some theories suggest that our universe could have originated from a black hole. According to these theories, a black hole isn't just a cosmic vacuum cleaner, sucking in matter and energy. Instead, it could be a seed, a point of intense gravitational pressure that could spark the creation of a new universe. Imagine for a moment a universe teeming with black holes. Each of these black holes could potentially give birth to a new universe, forming a vast cosmic tree of universes each branching off from the last. This theory, while highly speculative, could explain the origin of our universe. However, it also presents a paradox. If our universe came from a black hole in another universe, where did that universe come from? This question leads us back to the problem of infinite regression, a chain of causes stretching back forever with no discernible beginning. The implications of these theories are as intriguing as they are diverse. They challenge our understanding of time, causality, and the very nature of existence. They push us to reconsider what we mean by nothing and everything. They force us to confront the possibility that our universe may be just one of many, an insignificant speck in a vast cosmic landscape. Moreover, these theories highlight the shared difficulties faced by cosmologists. Singularities, for instance, are points of infinite density predicted by general relativity like those at the center of black holes or at the Big Bang. These singularities are problematic because our laws of physics break down at these points. We simply don't have a theory that can accurately describe what happens at a singularity. Additionally, many of these theories are untestable, at least with our current technology and understanding. We can't peer into a black hole to see if a new universe is forming. We can't rewind the clock to witness the birth of our universe. These theories, as fascinating as they are, remain speculative they're educated guesses based on our current understanding of the universe. Every theory we've discussed today, from the Big Bang to the multiverse, from the no boundary proposal to the black hole universe origins, is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. They represent our ceaseless quest to understand our place in the cosmos, to unravel the mysteries of existence itself. As we continue this journey, let's remember that it's okay not to have all the answers. The beauty of science lies not only in the knowledge we've gained, but also in the mysteries we've yet to solve. Let's embrace the unknown, for it is in the heart of uncertainty that discovery lies. Each of these theories expands our understanding of the universe, but they also remind us how much we have yet to discover. Our journey through these theories reveals the vastness of our universe and the complexity of its origins. From the rhythmic dance of the oscillating universe to the endless expanses of the multiverse, each theory weaves a unique narrative of cosmic beginnings. We've delved into the quantum realm, where the familiar laws of reality give way to a world of strings and brains, vacuums and fluctuations. We've seen how these theories offer intriguing insights, yet also raise new questions about the very fabric of existence. 
We've ventured into the Big Bounce, a theory that challenges the traditional concept of the Big Bang replacing a singular beginning with a cyclical model of expansion and contraction, a universe constantly reborn from its own ashes. Then we've encountered the intriguing alternatives, the No Boundary Proposal, which dares to suggest a universe without a beginning or end, and the Black Hole Universe Theory, which posits our universe might be born from the depths of a black hole. Each theory, in its own way, challenges our understanding and reshapes our perspective of the cosmos. They are speculative, yes, but they also represent the progressive nature of cosmological study. They illustrate how our understanding of the universe is not static, but constantly evolving, constantly adapting, as new data emerges and new ideas take root. These theories are more than just conjectures about the universe's beginnings. They are testaments to the human spirit, to our unending curiosity, and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. They embody our quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, to seek out the unknown and make it known. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we remain humbled by the mysteries it holds, reminding us that there's always more to learn in our quest to understand our place in the universe. Yet, our journey does not end here. The universe, in all its vastness and complexity, continues to inspire new questions, new theories, and new explorations. As we delve into these cosmic mysteries, we invite you to join us. Participate in this grand journey of discovery. Engage in the conversation. What theory resonates with you? What questions do you have? What mysteries would you like us to explore next? Your engagement, your curiosity fuels our journey. And remember, each theory, each question, each exploration brings us one step closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. So, if you enjoyed this journey through Cosmic Theories, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating explorations of our universe. Together, let's continue to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos.